like that. <laughs> you know what I have that you don't? First of all, I have your $2. And second, I have a career and an agent in an agency. And I get hired to do shoutcasting. So <laughs> I wonder if... I wonder if Caleb, that's what he, that's what he, that's, uh, I'm not going to read the rest of his name. I wonder if that person, uh, <laughs> I wonder if you have a, a career in broadcasting and casting. Probably not, as you're crapping on somebody with a $2 tip. <laughs> I'm laughing at the fact that he gave me $2, like, thanks for the $2. I'll drink half of a beer tonight and imagine that I'm drinking your money. Two years ago, I was privately made aware that I had made someone uncomfortable with inappropriate remarks and behavior. This drove me to immediately come clean to my wife that I had been living a secret and self-destructive lifestyle. I decided at that moment to go into therapy. It needs to be clearly stated that I am deeply sorry to anyone hurt or made uncomfortable by my behavior. There is no excuse that I cannot fix or undo what I have done. I hope in time... People could see that I was not trying to hurt anyone, but I was a damaged person. <clears throat> what I'm about to share, I never imagined making public, and I discovered it through therapy, and it surprised me as well. I'm also not trying to excuse my behavior. It is an attempt to show that I was not a predator, but a damaged person in need of help. I'm only 45 seconds in, and I already know. This won't be an apology, but rather an attempt to shift the blame and be the victim. I'll never understand why people who get caught just right away say that they're a damaged person and then go out of their way to damage other people. For the last two years, I have been working through events that I had suppressed and forgotten, and at the age of 16... I was raped by my girlfriend. I'm sorry, but I really don't think being raped is an excuse to go around touching up on people and sexual harassing them in public. And this led to months of sexual, verbal, and mental abuse. It needs to be stated that no one ever treated me differently or confronted me, and the moment someone did confront me about my behavior, I entered therapy. <laughs> so what you're saying is that until someone says what you're doing is bad and, and really disgusting, you are allowed to sexually harass people. Nice. My recollection of events was just friends joking around, and sex jokes are very common in these environments. Yes, Rage. Sex jokes are normal. Seeing and touching women really isn't. I felt I was just joking with friends. This is not meant to minimize what people felt, but I'm trying to show I did not have ill intentions. I am sad that no one felt they could confront me because of my lack of self-awareness led to the hurt and the pain of others. Bro, Rare Drops literally revoked your creator rights before the event, and then you decided to go anyway and get banned afterwards. How is that not hint enough that something's wrong with you? If you are seeing this and you've supported me through the years and you feel betrayed, I am truly sorry. I have done all I can to improve as a husband, father, and person, and if my career is damaged by this, so be it. <laughs> Your career isn't damaged. Your career is over. If anything you've heard rings true, seek help. You may be hurting yourself and others. Therapy has saved my life and my marriage. Yeah, guys, look. Therapy has saved my life and my marriage. Guys, look. My wife's in frame. Guys, look. <laughs> If anyone has been hurt by my action feels the need to have any form of restitution, my wife and I are willing to jump on a video call with you to hear you. Thank you. Yeah, I don't think anybody's going to want to be in a video call with you, weirdo.